Look at this. This is very important. But I feel like it's a different kind of confidence. It's actually a very clever, I think, perspective. We are mere peasants. Hello Internet, it is I, the Roshi, and I'm back with another reaction. This time, reacting to a Genshin Impact character teaser. We got a new one, folks! This time, we have Linny. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's in store. Let's get into it. People yearn to transcend the mundane world. That which is mysterious captivates us all. So, did you have a good look? Yep. The hat's definitely empty. In the space of a short performance, a magician must shatter the barrier between reality and fantasy, giving the audience a glimpse of the extraordinary. Oi, this isn't what I ordered. I clearly asked for a cider. Hey, you asked for a glass of our finest wine. Maybe you've had enough. Oh, yeah, right. You think I don't know what I ordered? <laughs> How about you take another look at your drink? <sighs> yeah, that's the stuff. Mmm, the sweet smell of apples. What the? I swear I was just holding it. In the eyes of most people, magic tricks are like miracles. But as magicians, we prefer to think that great miracles are like magic tricks. Ooh, okay. All right. I see you, Genshin. All right, once again, another awesome character teaser. So let's get into this. I'm going to look at some of the things that Linny is saying, but I also want to focus on the visuals a bit as well. Also, just right off the bat, before I forget, music, awesome. Phenomenal, as always. So here we open up with Linny. Uh, Linny is doing some street performances. Now, this is kind of cool because we know Linny as someone who definitely does more stage performances. But now we're showing him out in public doing his tricks. This little scene here shows how much confidence he truly has. Now, we know that he has a lot of confidence but I feel like it's a different kind of confidence. There's the kind of confidence that you have that you may put on as an act when you are on stage, when you are being a performer, when you are in front of a lot of other people. I think someone is perfectly capable of getting on a podium and delivering a speech and showing confidence that way, but maybe in an actual crowd of people or even talking one-on-one, -on -one, they, they could still be a little shy or sheepish. For example, I think it takes a certain level of confidence to do things like YouTube. Like right now I'm talking into my potato to communicate with all of you and I'm aware that a bunch of people are going to be seeing this. Is that a little intimidating? Of course it is, but I'm still doing it because I'm having a good time and I feel like this is part of my, my craft, if you will, for a lack of a better word. But let's say you were to actually find me in person. If you were to approach me, I would probably be a little more reserved. I would definitely be more quiet. Believe it or not, I'm extremely shy. Now that doesn't mean that I can't build up courage in the moment if I, if I call upon it enough, if I have the energy to do so, but it just goes to show that Linny here is perfectly capable of just being extremely nonchalant and just do a trick in front of strangers. Hats out, hands out in front, this, in a way, is very interesting to me because I know when you are performing magic, your positioning and stance is rather important depending on what you're doing. For example, if you go back and look at the 4.0 special program, it opens with a magic performance. One of the core techniques for sleight of hand in general is to bring the people's focus elsewhere while you set up or do the trick in the spot where they're not looking. Sleight of hand happens right in front of you. A classic example is, look over there! You know, that stupid thing, look over there! Everyone looks and then you do the thing. It's that, but it's more subtle. Now we can tell that Linny's a pro here because there are many things right in front of these two 
that are very distracting. Linny has his big old hat out in front of him. Linny is sitting cross-legged, slightly above them. His hand is extended outwards. He does some sleight of hand stuff with making his wand appear. There's all sorts of things happening that are making your attention bounce that Linny is so professional can obviously pull off whatever he's trying to do in that moment of time because you're just so all over the place and looking exactly where he wants you to look. Now, of course, there is technically magic already in Genshin. I don't know if you'd call it magic, but a lot of people would still put it in that category. A lot of people have these elemental powers. And sure, they're in visions, they come from the Archons. This is, of course, different kind of magic. This is very much more stage and street magic. Who am I to say that there isn't some actual real magical force enhancing some of these things. I don't think that's necessarily the case. However, Linny's eyes do have some kind of unnatural glow to them. Now, I know Linny and Lynette make an appearance in the Travail chapter trailer thing, which I will look at at some point. I don't really know what is said about them. I'm sure there has been some hints and lore drops about who or what these characters actually are. If they're not human, I don't know. And you know what? Maybe that does explain a little more. However, from an outsider's perspective, there could actually be some little magical quality here, or it could just be the teaser making Linny look cool, a stylistic choice, or perhaps just like a magic trick itself, misguiding us. One thing I'd like to point out here that I think is interesting, um, right now we are seeing the face side of one of Linny's cards. On the back side of it, Linny's cards have a cat head silhouette with a toothy grin and a single eye showing. Now, in my opinion, when I looked at the 4.0 trailer, that reminded me of the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. And I think that makes a lot of sense because if you know anything about the Cheshire Cat, the Cheshire Cat is a trickster and is all about illusions. What are magicians? Yeah. Here we have a shot of Linny with his eye showing and a smile, almost the other half of that image. All right, so this scene I think is actually pretty funny. We have a drunken sailor in a bar, Linny is there, there's a complaint, and then Linny kind of does this trick to satisfy the, the the drunken sailor. And when the trick starts, we see some pretty incredible stuff. Turns the wine into cider, and then turns the cider into an apple, right in front of the sailor's eyes. We are from his perspective. However, that sailor is drunk. We are viewing the trick from the perspective of a drunk dude. This looks like miracle stuff that Linny is pulling off completely changing the liquid in a cup and then changing that cup into an apple. But we see this sailor fading in and out of consciousness during this scene from his perspective. This looks very elaborate. It might not be that elaborate at all because we're just dealing with an angry drunk guy who can't focus. So once again, is Linny pulling off some actual magic stuff or because we're viewing from the perspective of a person who is intoxicated, it just looks like miracle stuff. It's actually a very clever, I think, perspective. And once again, with magicians, they always end up in like bars and doing tricks for people who are somewhat intoxicated because that's some of your best audience. They'll have some of the best reactions. They won't be able to focus nearly as easily as someone who who isn't intoxicated. Why would Lenny do this? Because he likes it, it's what he does, right? Now I wanna talk about this. Look at this. This is very important, or at least I believe so. Once again, we are seeing a lot of Lenny's personality. Sitting cross-legged like this, facing the person you're talking to, is a sign of being confident and enjoying yourself, being engaged in the conversation. And the camera, our point of view, is at eye level. And who has been talking throughout the entirety of this teaser? Well, Linny, of course. Now, who is he talking to? Linny has been talking to us the entire time, breaking the fourth wall. The Overture teaser. The description of the Overture teaser. The 4.0 trailer. 
the description of the 4.0 trailer and here as well. But we are also eye level with him. There's a sign of respect of being at our level still. He is still trying to make us comfortable. That's what a magician does, right? It wouldn't, his tricks wouldn't really work if we were stressed and paranoid. The things that I've been saying about Fontaine, how there is a facade, how there are things that were being shown, but there is actually a magic trick. There is a trick. There is something more real behind the scenes that is happening. And how I said that Linny's gonna kick things off in the story. Another example, right here, this teaser, 100%. I will eat my sock if I'm wrong, and I don't want to do that. But I wanted to bring up this image for another reason, because I want to compare it to this one. This is from the 4.0 trailer. Fosalor sitting on a building, maybe not as high up as Linny right now. It's a little hard to tell, but look at the camera angle. He's above us. This whole scene starts above us. The camera fades and zooms out of a shot of her freaking feet. We start with her practically stepping on us and it zooms out and zooms out and zooms out until you see all of Fontaine. But it starts from under her feet until we see her, but she's looking down and we're looking up. So what we got going on here in Lenny's teaser, we have a more full frontal shot of his entirety from the start, eye level, happy, confident position. But then for Fosalor, we have a shot where we're starting dark and zooming out to see her pretty big and then get smaller and smaller and out of reach as we zoom out of Fontaine to see the entirety of everything. I believe this is symbolizing a status of power and how we are viewed. Linny, same level, we're considered equal and comfortable and trying to get us on his side, possibly for the trick itself. Fosalor, there is no trick. She is judgment. Her way is how it goes. You listen to her, you do what she says, she's in charge, and also out of reach. We are mere peasants. The last thing I'll say about this is that we do zoom out a little bit from Linny, but not nearly as much as Fosalor. And in the 4.0 trailer, when it zooms really far out, we see all of Fontaine. However, here, we only zoom out a little bit, and then it pans up and transitions into the night sky with the moon. Now, I will admit, I don't think I will honestly understand this right here. I'm sure this does mean a lot for people, because the moon probably has some significance in Genshin. However, I think that's very much part of the story, and I don't know what that is. I will when I play it soon, but as of right now, I can't say I do. But what I can say is that we are seeing an image of the moon in the palm of Linny's hand. I believe this symbolizes some form of control. I believe the moon here may have something to do with the goals of the Fatui. Either way, I feel like this is representing some kind of control and a finale of a trick where this is held out in front of you and it's being presented. So I'm going to try to just do this in one take as the trailer plays. So throughout this, Linny, he's talking about escapism, right? And believing in something and what that takes. So for the everyday person, People in general search for escapism. They try to find ways to escape their reality because let's face it, reality is not that great all the time. However, something like a magic trick, that makes you forget about your problems and you're seeing something fantastical. You're getting a glimpse of something that is unbelievable, something that's not part of your daily life. And magicians do this service for people, right? Now, what's really interesting is that it goes into the mindset of people who are not magicians, where he says, people think magic tricks are miracles. Now think about that. Magic tricks are miracles. 
Yeah, for people who don't understand magic, of course, right? Something, someone who believes in magic and who doesn't understand magic, when they see their wine turn into an apple, of course, that's crazy, that's a miracle. However, he also flips the coin, right? And says, from a magician's point of view, miracles are just magic tricks. So something that's so unbelievable, at the end of the day, is still just a trick because there had to have been a method on how to get there. And that's what I think he's saying. So this was a lot of fun, a lot of cool stuff in there. Boy, I just, I love sleight of hand. I love magic. Uh, <laughs> Lenny's freaking cool. These Genshin videos that have been out recently are just blowing my mind. And oh my, are we gonna get Lynette like really soon? I hope so. Man, I already love Lynette and Lenny's cool too. Don't get me wrong. Lenny's cool and his showmanship, his confidence, freaking baller. But I feel like Lynette's more of my, my, my type, maybe personality wise anyway. I'm looking forward to whatever they decide to throw at me next. This has been so much fun these days. Well, that's it for me. This was a lot of fun. If you want to support me, then feel free to leave a like or even subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, if you are hearing me right now, that means you made it to the end of the video. If that's the case, then somewhere in the comment section down below within your message, leave the word trick. And that way I will know that you are indeed a real one. Thank you so much for joining me, as always. I really, really do appreciate it. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.